Holidays are here again, and there are so many great gift ideas from our local farms right here in Connecticut. With us right now is the Commissioner of Agriculture, Brian Halbert, and also Angela Young from Woodstock Creamery. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. You've brought this incredible local spread. Mm -hmm. Love it. Walk us through some of the items, would you? Sure. Um, we were kind of thinking about what you would do for Christmas morning, so we started with our ice cream. So many holiday parties, too. Yes, yeah. 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 And we have four children, so we know how busy Christmas morning can be. Um, so this is an Icelandic style of skier that we make at the creamery. Um, it's very high in protein, low in lactose, which I know a lot of folks have to kind of be careful about. Mm -hmm. um, we make it right there at our um, our creamery on the farm. Um, and you can set up a pretty easy yogurt board right. um, with it. Similar to like a Greek style yogurt? It's actually thicker. It's more oh, okay. um, the consistency of sour cream. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. um, so that would be a good breakfast option. Um, of course, the charcuterie boards are all the rage. And, Absolutely. Um, we brought um, some cabot cheese because we are cabot farmers as well. And then um, ricotta cheese that you can go ahead and um, serve with the jellies and the crackers. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can't forget dessert. <laughs> no, yeah, so, I was eyeing that ice cream over there. Yes, it looks that, great. Um, that came from a local farm. Um, and then um, we brought our cannoli cream, which is a newer product Ooh. that we're making, um, and the cannoli chips. So you can have an easy dessert. And our skier transforms also to dessert um, time. So we have a peppermint, um, parfait and then a gingerbread parfait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to try the ice cream. You guys don't mind, right? <laughs> For us, it's not that early. We get up at like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Brian, talk a little bit more about all the dairy farms that we have here in our state. So we it? have just under 90 dairy farms it's across the state of Connecticut who put out amazing products. Um, and so if you think about what's local at Connecticut Farms, milk is always local, right? Mm. We have seasonality for a lot of other things, but our, our milk is always mm. local. As Angela mentioned, um, Agrimark, which creates Cabot Creamery, is one of the, uh, um, the um, dairy operations that work with Connecticut farmers. So that is Connecticut milk in that cheese. So when you're thinking about how can I support local this year, when you're buying for your friends and your neighbors and your family right. members, you know, there's a lot of great agricultural products. When you're thinking about, I'm going to host an event, this uh, for the holidays. These are things that you can bring. A charcuterie board, you know, made from Connecticut wood by Connecticut Farm. Um, you know, there's meat bundles, there's cheese bundles, there's dairy CSAs now. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not just about going getting a Christmas tree or a Christmas wreath at this point in time in the, in the year. It's about thinking about how you can celebrate Connecticut agriculture in addition to that piece during the holiday season. I'm glad that you mentioned that about Cabot because some people might not realize right. that you're actually they supporting promote Vermont local. very well, but right. they're very Connecticut. Initially, too. that's what comes to mind. Yes. Yeah. yes. So that's why we want to make sure that people know that that's still a good choice. Mm -hmm. And this is delicious. I'm just uh, munching on the little pieces of peppermint mm -hmm. in here. What? Where is this from again? So that's, I believe, Arethusa's mm -hmm. Peppermint Steak. Okay. Arethusa, mm -hmm. um, a farm operation in northwest Connecticut. They've right. got a couple of restaurants, a dairy. They also um, were the uh, world's best cheese award mm -hmm. winners this year. They're Gouda-style cheese, which um, awesome. if you haven't had a chance Here to try, I really encourage mm -hmm. that you do. Well, Angela, talk a little bit more about how important it is to have the local community come into the farm and support, oh, and also yeah. ways that they can get involved. You oh, know sure. What I mean? We love it. Um, we um, really welcome people to come to the farm, see the animals. It's like um, an experience. It is, yeah. And opening the creamery, we've been open for, um, of course, the farm's been there a very long time, but um, the creamery has been five years, and we have a viewing window, so folks can come in and see what we're working on that day um, in the creamery. Um, they can go see the farm and look inside another viewing window which shows our robotic milkers so the cows are being milked um, any time of the day they choose and mm -hmm. folks can come and see that so it's been really nice to kind of connect back with our community through the creamery and um, show people what we do. Right. And from a parent perspective, it's great to get the kids there it and is. get them involved. Yes. And then, you know, just kind of like Ed, yeah. snowball from there. Educate them and yeah. they really get to see this is where it starts and this is what they're working on today. And, and this is why we do it, mm -hmm. to support our friends and our yeah. community. Yeah, right. absolutely. Right. Thank you both so much for being with us. Thank you so much. Thank this you. This has been really, really great. And that's delicious, too. It is. <laughs>